Good morning and a very happy Sabbath to each and every one. The title of my sermon is uh, The Only One. You can see that the reading tells us about the, uh, the pronouncement of this uh, verdict and judgment upon uh, the serpent who deceived uh, Eve. He said that God will put enmity between, between him and the woman. And then it says that uh, the woman's seed or offspring will crush the head of the serpent. And the serpent will bite the heel, bruise the heel of uh, the, the offspring. And you can see here he's talking about one offspring. One offspring. So God is going to give one offspring, one seed for the woman. And this woman must give birth. I'm not a woman, so I really don't know what it's like. But my wife was screaming when she was about to give birth. Oh, so painful. Quickly call the doctor, doctor. But the doctor was just on the way. And then the head was out already. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's the pain that you must go, you must go through. All of us, every one of us, we go through that process of being born and to come out to this world as a born human being. Likewise, this seed, God promised that this seed that is going to crush the head of the serpent to destroy the works of the serpent is the one that is going to come through the woman. Which woman? Which woman? Is it Eve? Is it Sarah? They waited and waited and waited. And then finally, that seed came through the woman whose name was Mary. The woman here is just a symbol. It's just that soil that is used for putting the seed. That seed is from God. That's why with that, the soil is able to nourish and to bring forth the fruit from that seed. And this person is different. He must be born with a body. And let's see Hebrews See what it says. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5, it says, Therefore, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. It's referring to Jesus. And you can read that in Psalm Psalm 40, verses 6 to 8. It's a reference. And uh, here, the, uh, the author of uh, Hebrews is, is quoting Psalm, and then he's saying that this body was prepared. It means God prepared the body through the woman, through this seed, through this woman. This seed must come. And this seed is able to crush the head. And then here it says in verse uh, 6, in burnt in burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin, you had no pleasure. So God is not having pleasure in seeing animals being killed. See? But the only way to solve our sin problem is this seed, who must be the Lamb of God. And in verse 7, it says, Then I say, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. And this is from, from Psalm uh, 40, verse 8. It says, in the, in the volume of the book, it is written of me, to do your will, O God. This is the only seed of mankind that's able, the only one that's able to live a sinless life and to crush the head of the serpent. And we are talking about this. And he must come with a body. Without that body, this morning, we will not be able to have this Holy Communion. The bread will mean something else. The bread means the body of Christ. Jesus came with a body. Jesus came as a human being. But more than that, I read he uh, Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1, it says in verse 1, God, after he spoke long ago to the fathers in the prophets, uh, uh, in, the prophets in, in many uh, portions and in many ways. Then verse 2, in these last days, okay, has spoken to us 
in his son. So this seed is his son. He is the son of man and he is the son of God. And he says, whom he appointed, appointed heir, heir of all things. As our Sabbath school says, all things, everything is under him. He is exalted. Say, all things through him, also he made the world. So this is the one, the son of man, the son of God. He is God and he is man. He is the only unique being in the entire universe. Angels are angels, men are men. God is God. But here we have someone who is God, who came to this world to be God with man. And now where is he? He's seated up there. He is man with God to represent us. This is the one that we must worship. This is the one that has brought everlasting life possible for all humanity and this is the one that we want to celebrate when we have our whatsapp